If you're going to make a checklist of criteria that an asset or a business has to meet before you invest dollar one, what would be on that checklist? Number one, I need to know that the legislative and regulatory environment is going to be okay for my business or my investment. Number two, George, I need to know that locationally or geographically, there's no impediments. So I want to be in a well-located area. If it's a piece of real estate, obviously location, location, location. But if it's a business, can, we, can it work remotely? Can I farm out labor to India or somewhere overseas where labor is less expensive? I'm always looking at locational and geographical advantages. Number three, I want to make sure that I'm reducing my competitive risks. I want to be in a high barrier to entry business. If it's a piece of real estate, I want to make sure no one can build the same thing next to me. If it's another business or a company, I want to make sure that no one else can just wake up tomorrow and start the same company up and compete with me. So I'm looking for patents. I'm looking for supply constraints. I'm looking for moratoriums on issuing new permits and licenses. So I'm always looking for a competitive advantage and a high barrier to entry once I'm already in the door. And then fourth, George, this is the biggest one. I have to be in a high demand market. I have to know that what I'm selling is a need, not a want. 